Uh, I'm, fr I'm from Brazil, from the State University of Rio de Janeiro. Uh, I'm working on Elizabeth of Bohemia thought and I'm working on uh, her approach to, to, the question, to the problems and questions inside the Cartesian philosophy and also about uh, her role as a woman, as a philosopher, and in her fight, in a way, to be recognized as such by, by the René Descartes. And the, the inputs and the outputs of, the, of that uh, epistolar exchange to the history of philosophy. And I'm very glad to be here. It's a very nice conference. And I gave my talk yesterday. And I refer to the Hydra of misogyny as the case in point of this epistolar uh, relationship. And um, that is it. Oh, first of all, because philosophy is not something that you do alone by yourself. And also because there, there is these two uh, aspects inside the, the, the problem of the woman in the world and also as well in the world of the history of philosophy. That said, that is the erasure from the history. So when you get back this woman and other uh, people who were with the great guys, the great male and white guys, when you get together these people, you have a picture and also a context, and also you, you may, you have, you'll be a, we will be able to uh, nuance it and refine and re enrich our analysis, our, our approach, and our way to, 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 to comprehend the history and also the way the canon was fixed. And, and in doing so, we are necessarily, in a way, rewriting the canon. So it, it has a lot of uh, methodological implications. It's a huge task. It's not easy to do, but it's fascinating. It's, it's the real thing about philosophy with, that is always discussing itself, what is doing philosophy after all? Eh? What, is, what is it that you are doing for so many years? And so this is a new way to write, to do history. And uh, it's a more uh, comprehensive and perhaps more rich and also more consistent way to do so. Uh, last question, what do you think uh, find personally most inspiring about Elizabeth of Bohemia? The most inspiring thing was that she was absolutely clever <laughs> and she was uh, very subtle and elegant and also very ironic and uh, in a way and she was uh, a very uh, sophisticated reading of the René Descartes uh, metaphysical project and uh, she detected a consistent issue inside his program and she pushed him forward his own philosophical program to, uh, to, to answer a question regarding consistency. And so she fighted for during two years to be recognized as a philosopher because she was just a kind of a fan, and after that, a, a femme de lettres, uh, uh, a, 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 dem, a madame of letters uh, from society, uh, from, from aristocracy, uh, aristocracy. And after that, uh, she became uh, recognized by him as a philosopher as such, and, and she pushed him towards his own program to, to make it better. And she was erased for most than 20, uh, 200, 200, 200, no, no hundreds, 200 years. And it's not 100, yes, and the, this, 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 250 years. And since the, the last decade, she, she became uh, recovered, and we are, you have, we have a new look to the Cartesian philosophy, and also uh, they discovered the philosophers, our researchers always trying to do so, uh, the many ways we can read, read and treat and analyze this, this epistolar exchange, this do philosophical uh, documentation, and also um, these philosophical records uh, from the, the documents of outside this, this epistolar exchange and also the documents, the, 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 the letters itself. And also the, the, we, have, we are seeing a new literature 
philosophical literature coming coming published and, and discuss it. And it's a, a very promising uh, horizon of analysis that is showing up to us. <laughs>